I love, 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 love index cards, and I probably have way too many at any given time. But uh, there's so much you can do with them, and they are so incredibly helpful. I thought I'd jump on and share some of those ideas, the things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis and use index cards for. <laughs> Now, first of all, index cards have actually, from my opinion, lost a lot of their um, stability over the years. When I was young, I remember index cards being very sturdy and thick, and that's just simply not the case anymore. Uh, it seems like these days they're little, little thicker than a normal uh, sheet of paper. However, I'm not necessarily looking for stability. What I'm looking for is inexpensive and easy to use and something that I'm not going to feel guilty about simply throwing away. So for example, I get all of my index cards from Target simply because they're cheap, dirt cheap. Um, they're so inexpensive, they don't even go on sale at back to school time. They are the same price year round, 49 cents for a hundred. So um, I feel little guilt at just um, using them up, ripping them up and then recycling them. So no harm, no foul, but the um, ability to be productive and fun, and I'll get into all that, it's just well worth the price of admission for these. So today I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I use them, how I store them, and why I think they're just so helpful. In fact, I used one to make my little list of some of the ways I use them. Uh, but first let's talk about storage. How, how do I store them? Well, I use them in three main ways. Um, I use them in my purse for quick notes on the go. And for that, I again go to Target <laughs> and I use the portion control snack bags. Um, these are actually long skinny bags. And what's great about this is a small stack of index cards fits perfectly inside and keeps them nice and tidy in my purse. So um, my purse is <laughs> packed and stacked. <laughs> I can barely zip it up, but I can very, uh, very easily slide this thin little packet of index cards in my purse and they don't get bent up or um, marred up before I actually go to use them. And it's great too, because I always have a handy note card ready for anybody if somebody needs a piece of paper for a quick note, what so on and so forth. But I just love this size, it's just perfect. Um, Again, these are the portion control snack bags from uh, Target, and I buy these just for my index cards, so this box of 64 will last me forever. I think I'm still using the original bag. But I, I just, I love the system. It's cheap, inexpensive, and certainly handy. So that's how I carry the index cards in my purse. I also keep a stack on my desk, um, and to store that, I actually got this box from, oh goodness, what is this called? This is, it's called Like It Brick. It's a white Like It Brick from the container store. And admittedly, this is an investment. Huh? I think this was $8. And, and, and it didn't come with a handle or the dividers. It just came with the box. But the reason I liked it is because three by five cards fit perfectly lengthwise and they stick out of the top, making it very easy for me to grab. I have psoriatic arthritis, so my hands get very sore. So it, it's easy for me to grab cards in and out. The other nice feature that these bricks have is you can get these dividers. And I think these were three or four dollars for two. So I bought a couple a couple um, bags of them. And again, this is much more of an investment than say these uh, Ziploc baggies from, or resealable baggies from Target. But this is a one-time investment that I have been using for years. It wears really well. And again, I'm gonna get into the usability of this, but it really is a productivity tool for me. So it makes my life better, so it's worth it. But these little dividers, you can um, move and set up anywhere inside the um, box that you would like. They just kind of bend and then the tabs snap into these holes. And you can see here I have one, two, three dividers placed in here and that, that's for a very specific purpose. 
Um, but before I get into those purposes, you'll also see that I have a little drawer pull here. This is just a drawer pull I bought off Amazon. You could put anything here you want. You could put nothing if you wanted, really. But I wanted something that would make it easy for me to lift and move. Um, sometimes this is next to my computer. Sometimes this is on my writing desk, which is where you're <laughs> looking right now. Um, so I wanted something that was going to be easy for me to pick up and move to where I needed to work. Now, um, I just used a couple washers you can kind of see in there to create the correct amount of space to get make sure that this um, knob was put on there nice and tight because the last thing I want is when I'm moving it for it to drop and for cards to go everywhere. Oh, I should also note that you can obviously get actual index boxes, but here's the thing. I don't like lids. <laughs> I use my index cards. I know a lot of people use them for reference and for um, keeping information on file for bookkeeping purposes. I don't. Index cards are just a productivity tool and frankly an art tool for me for self-expression. So uh, I don't want a lid to get in the way. I, I just want something I can just grab grab things quickly. So I liked the fact that this this system did not have a lid. If you wanted a lid, another great suggestion is the Sistema uh, little cube lunch boxes. Those are great too. They have a flap inside, but you can very easily cut that flap. Um, I'll see if I can get a picture of that and put it in the, in the video to show you. But I have used those as well. Those are great for storage, but not necessarily great for usability. I, I really like this system. You could also um, make something similar to this using a small shoe box, a child size or even an infant size shoe box would work great. Um, but again, these are the Like It bricks from the container store. So getting on to how I use the different dividers, I always keep my blank, uh, excuse me, my blank index cards at the back. And then I usually put what I'm working on or to-do notes near the, near the front. When this is sitting on my desk, I also <laughs> like to keep my chapstick. I cannot be without chapstick. I keep my chapstick in there. And then I also keep a couple pads of post-it notes. So I can very easily see my to-do lists or projects that I might have outlined on an index card right here in front. And then all of my blank ones are at the back. I don't even have to think. I just I know where everything is um, when I when I need it. It's great. So now let's get on to what to do with these index cards. Why do I have so many and why am I so in love with them? <laughs> well, first of all, they're great for any kind of list. They're small, they're not overwhelming, they're easy to tote around, um, shopping lists, grocery lists, things you need to order. They're great for jotting down to-do lists, tasks you need to do for work, chores you need to get done around the house, maybe appointments. You might have a lot of appointments in one day. They're great for jotting that down and keeping in your purse or in your pocket. They're great for brain dumping on the run. Maybe you have a lot of ideas. Maybe you have 10 minutes while you're waiting at an appointment. What are you gonna do? Use those 10 minutes. Write down different ideas that you have. It could be gift ideas for somebody. It could be some great creative idea you have to solve a problem at home. Any ideas you have, an index card can help you uh, track and get all that information out of your brain and onto something physical so you can reference later. Quick doodles. I don't draw. I would like to. <laughs> In fact, I used to be an art teacher. But um, quick doodles are great for both adults and kids. I'm just going to do something right here while we talk. And you don't have, the misconception is to do art or to be creative, you have to be able to draw. Now, ugh, I've fallen into that trap a lot because my husband, well, he's an animator. So he can draw. I can't, but you know what I can do? I can make marks on a paper. I can put pen to a page, uh, put a pen to a page of paper. And you know what? That's all you really need to do to create something. And um, don't quote me, but I have read many, many articles online and in magazines that say that coloring and drawing often has the same effect on the brain as meditating. It's just it's a way to escape and relax. And the great thing about an index card is looking at a blank page could be incredibly overwhelming. You're thinking, oh my goodness, I'm gonna screw it up. I can't do that. What, you know, what if I ruin it? Um, 
An index card, on the other hand, is much more accessible. It's small. If you screw it up, just rip it up and start over. There's not a huge commitment. Um, they're great for kids, on the go especially, little kids. It gives them a small, a tiny canvas to work on. Um, but again, it's, it's great for adults too. And as you can see, I'm just doing curved lines. Um, I intend to do a couple videos on different art activities to do with index cards, but you get the idea. You could even go as far as to make uh, tiny masterpieces by coloring in these patterns that you make. But index cards are just great. And again, there's no commitment <laughs> and, and far less feelings of being overwhelmed or intimidated. Uh, another great thing index cards are for are reminders. And um, oftentimes there's very little, it feels like there's very little space left in my head. And so I got to get it down and maybe, um, maybe I'll make an index card for that day and I'll jot down, let's just say I have an appointment at 10 a.m. Um, with my rheumatologist. And let's say I have a meeting for work at 12.30 um, with my supervisor. And I'm scared I'm going to forget these. In the busyness of the day, I'm going to forget. So I just jot those down. And then I fold maybe a quarter of an inch or a third. It does, again, you don't have to be exact. I fold a flap and then I just simply set it standing up on my desk. So I'm actually looking at it all the time so I can't forget. And it's great because then as those things happen, I can cross them off and then put it back up. I've even gone as far as to make um, on incredibly busy, crazy weeks, five of them, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I use Sharpies to write the days of the week across the top. And then I set them up in a line across my um, my desk underneath my monitor. That's another thing that's great about this size is you can fold it so it sits directly underneath your monitor so it's always in your line of sight. Um, I tried using post-it notes for this and actually just sticking them to the bottom of my monitor, but they constantly fell off. And so I found that more frustrating than helpful. So I came up with this hack to just create um, pop-up index card notes that work really great for me. And that leads me to my last suggestion, affirmations. Um, we've got enough negativity in the world and in our daily lives that it's really important that we um, encourage ourselves with affirmations. Um, don't wait for a cheerleader to come along, be your own cheerleader. And so write down positive quotes, sayings, affirmations on index cards. Take a moment to make it pretty. Do it with a Sharpie or um, color pencil or whatever your favorite color is. And then put those index cards anywhere you might run into them during the day. Again, you could use the pop-up uh, strategy that I have by just simply folding a flap. You can put it on your refrigerator, you can tuck it inside your book, you can put it in your wallet when every time you open it up you'll see it, um, so on and so forth. And again, the great thing about doing this is it's inexpensive and you get to have the fun of actually creating. Um, and if you screw it up, who cares? To rip it up, recycle it, start over. Um, but the encouragement and the productivity and just the helpfulness of them is literally invaluable. So that's how I use index cards, how I store them, how I use them, and how they help me. Um, if any of you out there have some ideas for how you store index cards or how you use them, I would love to hear them because <laughs> I'm always looking uh, to enable my love affair of index cards even more. So make sure to leave those ideas, tips, and tricks down in the comments. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe.